So what do you call yourself? Welcome. Welcome to the Los Angeles Show. Hey. Hey, what can I do for you this fine day? This is your destiny. Hot, hot, hot. Right now. Welcome to the Los Angeles Show. Kick it. Come on in and enjoy yourself. Right now. We gon' party like no one else. Hi. Can you hear me now? Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I am excellent. Even better now, since I know we're going to spice it up a little. And I'm here for you, right? (laughs) This is going to be a spicy episode. (laughs) Absolutely. I know you have been super busy getting it done and traveling the world and breaking all of these records. And sometimes categories, they seem to strike us as odd because they don't come across our desk often. But Hulu, they are definitely getting it right with Super Hot, the spicy world of pepper people. Now, this is a first for me. So today in the hot seat on the TN line, we have none other than Shahino Wasim. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule. Um, I have a lot of questions that need some answers. My absolute pleasure. And go ahead, Tan, hit me with them. (laughs) (laughs) How did you realize that? you really wanted to enter the world of spice. Some people have a good palate. They know they like good food. You know, here in Louisiana, if it's hot, it's sweating, and it's making you do this, it's the best. That's how we gauge our food. But how did you know that hot wasn't hot enough? Well, that took a bit of time, but I'll start from the beginning. I kind of got into spicy food because of my dad. So we were a single parent family. He used to cook the food and he'd make it quite mild. and uh, to add sort of spice to it, you have like a raw chili on the side, he'd be eating the chili, wiping his forehead from like the sweat. And I'd look at him and say, Dad, why are you eating this chili when you're suffering? You know, you're sweating, you're, you know, wiping it off with your handkerchief. And what's, why? You know, and he goes, no, I like the flavor. I enjoy the sensation. It, it adds like the piquancy to the food that I really enjoy. And I was like, I never really understood it. But because of that, I started like cooking. I actually learned to cook from him. So I was about 13 years old when I started to learn. And then I started to use peppers in my cooking. But these are really moderate peppers, you know, just like um, you'd say like a burza, Indian fin- finger chili and stuff like that. Right. So I started using those. And as I got older, around sort of 18, 19, when I was at uni, I discovered like the world's hottest sauce in my local supermarket tried it blew my mind and that's when I realized oh my god you can really go hot like you know at that time it was like Basco and Encona and all this sort of stuff so I realized there's like this whole new level of sort of hot sauces and I started to use that and uh, when I go to restaurants with my university mates they'd always say to me what what hot sauce have you got in your handbag today it was like an in joke and then um, because of that, um, one of my friends entered me into a competition she discovered in Kingston in the UK. And um, I went in there and it was a lot of pressure. I'd never been in a chili eating competition before in my life. Never even knew what they entailed, what they were about. Right. And, oh, and that's when I realized this was in 2012. And that's when I realized also oh, it's like from the mildest, the hottest pepper. You have to just sit there and eat them. And the last person standing wins. And uh, I had a lot of pressure because all these years to my friends, I've been boasting that I can eat the hottest thing in the I world. I can handle the heat, no sweat. It's no sweat. <laughs> and then I didn't even know what the hottest thing was. Like I, I thought like a scotch bonnet from the local supermarket was hot, you know. Um, yeah. But then I went into this competition. My friends are there and there's a lot of pressure. You're like, you know, I can't let them down now. So I ended up winning <laughs> Ended up winning this competition. And at that time, it was the Trinidad Scorpion that was the hottest pepper in the world and it blew my mind. And I remember like coming right. off the stage, my God, did not see that coming. And that's how I kind of got into competing. And then uh, here I am today, 97 competition wins later. Wow, 97. So do we have the other three already lined up? Because I'm rooting for you. I am going to start writing up my little billboards and say, that's my cousin. She likes it hot. It doesn't get any hotter than her. And and now I see that Beyonce was talking about you. She got hot sauce in her bag, you know, like. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I have dedicated the last like almost 12 years of my life competing and getting to this stage. So The next three are going to be really special competitions. I want to get to 100. That was been my goal for quite a few 
years, um, get to 100 consecutive wins. That's something I've always wanted to do. So now this is where I'm at. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, Shahina, one of the things that I love about doing the podcast is getting outside of the box and outside of my norm. You know, in Louisiana, we hear so much about food and cuisine from around the world, but I have never heard of Pepper People and the Pepper People Society and that they have pepper eating contest um, and that you're traveling around the world, really making a name in this industry for yourself. Have you ever thought about branching out and coming out with your own line of hot sauce or, you know, maybe something like that or a cooking show? Oh, 100%. So, uh, yeah, it's in, it's in the works, possibly uh, hot sauces and other sort of hot, spicy products coming out, possibly with my branding, the UK Chili Queen. Cooking is something 100% I'm so passionate about. And I've, I've actually been published in, in a recipe book in Pakistan. And, and the recipes that I do on my website, you know, I've got fans. So it's quite nice, you know, and I kind of really sort of pride myself on doing really quick dishes like 15 to 20 minutes and, you and you amazing food without compromising on flavor and things like that so it's something that was focused on the show as well and and one of the funny things was I was cooking and I was under you know I was nervous you know I've never been on such a big production before and they were filming me as like so much crew all around you and you're cooking this stuff you're thinking oh my god I hope my nose is not looking too big or anything like that you're worrying about I'm sweating I'm just over here sweating bullets trying to figure <laughs> it all out and my head is already thinking a thousand things but then then the, the best part of that was afterwards when the filming stopped and the crew and everybody sat down and had the food that I'd cooked and it was incredible to watch this whole table of people enjoying it so much, loving it, so many compliments. And then one of the crew, like the creators, Joaquin came up to me and said, you know what, that's one of the best things. Give me the recipe. I'm going to try to recreate it. And then he sort of took the recipe from me. And then I saw him a few months later and he goes, you know, that recipe you gave me, I tried to make it. And then it just didn't come out quite as yours, you know, and it's going to be, I'm afraid, one of those holy grails. I'm going to spend my life trying to make yes. it just how you made it. And you made it look so easy. Like, wow. <laughs> Absolutely. It comes naturally, darling, naturally. And with this docuseries on Hulu, what was one of the biggest highlights for you in sharing your experience and really just inviting the world to know more? Um, the highlight was actually just being part of this wonderful documentary series. Uh, it, it's, it's really sort of light and it delves deep into the different sort of aspects of the Chile community. You know, there's the pepper growers, there's the hot sauce makers, hot sauce collectors, and then the competitive Chile eaters. So you see so many different facets to this community, which have never been highlighted before quite like this. Uh, so it's, it's an amazing production. And I think I'm so proud to be a part of it in, in that sense that people are going to now see the Chile community like never before and it is something I feel like everybody will find something that they will enjoy whether it's the hot sauce making or the competitive side of it you know so it's quite a lot uh, for everybody to sort of uh, enjoy I, I think. Absolutely well I'm super proud of you and I want you to think of this as an extension of your office and as you get out and travel more and you're looking for more spices Louisiana is always a nice spot for you okay and I'll be your uh, official tour guide I got you cuz I got you. Of course, we'll be chiming in with Hulu for the docu series Super Hot, the spicy world of pepper people. I'm gonna add a little extra spice today, just in homage to. Okay, <laughs> I know you have more work to do, so I'm gonna let you chase the sun or let the sun chase you. But either way, get after it. I love you, and there's absolutely <laughs> nothing you can do. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tan. So lovely to be on your show. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you so much. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>